child of God, God changed my name, God changed my name, and God gave me a new name. And if you can only trust in Him, child of God, He can also give you a new name. Welcome, 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 child of God. Welcome to the message of inspiration that God has placed into my heart. I'm so delighted to have you here today, child of God. Thank you so much, my returning subscriber, for always coming back to watch my content and support this ministry. I don't take you for granted. I hope and trust that you're where you're watching me from and God has kept you. I'm also well and I really thank God for the gift of life. And if you're new here, you're just watching me for the first time, you're new here, you've just come across uh, this beautiful channel, you're here, and you're my new subscriber, welcome to Inspiration. My name is Truth, I'm born again, I'm a child of God. Here I share the word of God, I talk about everything concerning faith, and here I share the word of God, and I also help women become better version of themselves through the word of God. So if you're interested in this kind of content, I'm going to encourage you, kindly proceed and support this ministry by subscribing to this content down below here. And also always remember, anytime you visit Inspiration Garage, kindly go back to your previous messages, child of God. I have more than 300 messages on this platform that God has placed into my spirit, child of God. As you keep on listening to inspirational messages on this channel, child of God, trust me, you are consuming the word of God. Your life shall never be the same again today again is another privilege for me to be here again child of god to share the word of god i don't take it for granted and this is a message that god has been placing in my spirit and today it is that day child of god that god is changing your name today child of god God is changing your name. God is changing your history. God is changing your identity. God is elevating your life, child of God, today to the glory and honor of God. I've always said every day is God's day, child of God. Every day is God's day. But the day you only choose to believe in him, the day that you wake up in the morning and you choose to believe in him, that will be your day, child of God. That will be your day, child of God. Today, I'm privileged to announce that God is changing your name. If he changed my name, then he is still the same God. He is still the same God who is in the business of changing names, child of God. If he changed my name, if he changed my identity, child of God, then he is the same God who is changing your name today. Child of God, I'm always very excited anytime I come on this platform to share the word of God because I know what God can do, child of God. He says in his word, I can do more exceedingly, abundantly, more than you can expect. I know what God can do in your life, child of God. I'm a living testimony. So be excited anytime uh, you hear the word of God, anytime you hear someone, anytime you hear a word from God, kindly always be excited because God can do anything in a thing of a, of a second child of God. God can change your identity in a second. Praise the name of God. And today our anchor scripture comes from the word of God, from the book of Isaiah. You have the word of God with you kindly open at the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. The word of God says, fear not for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. You are mine. You are precious. You are honored in my sight because I love you. What a powerful scripture child of God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. You are precious and honored in my sight because I love you. Praise be the name of God. God has redeemed you today. God has called you by your name and you're so precious and you're so honored in his sight 
because he loves you. God loves you, child of God. Many times we underestimate the love of God. It's so easy for us to tell someone that God loves you. But do you know the weight that that phrase carries, child of God? The love of God is too much. And one thing you need to know today is that we are all soaked under the love of God. His love is too much around us, child of God, that you can never explain the love of God, child of God. It's just like you and your children. Nobody can explain the love that you have towards your children. That love is always unexplainable, child of God. And that is the love I'm talking about you today, child of God. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the word of God says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. He is a new creature. Child of God, I'm here to tell you today, you are not only a new creature if you are in Christ, but God also gives you a new name. Once you are born again and have given your life to Christ, you are a new person, even your name changes, child of God. Your name definitely changes once you give your life to Christ. You remember God changed Abraham's name to Abraham, Sarai's name to Sarai, Jacob's name to Israel, and Simon's name to Peter. He is the same God today, child of God, who can change your name. He is the same God today who is still in the business of changing your name, child of God. I'm here to give you a testimony because he also changed my name. The first day God called me by name, child of God, I didn't even know that God knows me by name. God called me my name, child of God. You have not watched my message on how I gave my life to Christ, how Christ found me, child of God. I'm going to tag that message here to the glory and honor of God. That night, God called me by my name. And I remember he told me, Ruth, do not be afraid. I'm going to be with you. I am with you even today. He called me by my name. And that is when I knew he also changed my name, child of God, because I'm not the same person. I'm not the same person that I was before, child of God. He definitely changed everything concerning my life. He changed my spiritual journey, child of God. He changed my career. He changed my business. He changed my family. You know, he changed my attitude. He changed my feeling. He changed everything concerning me, child of God. When I heard his voice, child of God, I can never explain that moment. That moment is an experience explainable child of God. You can never explain the glory of God. He changed my name. And today I'm here to tell you, child of God, he can also change your name. He can also change your destiny, child of God. He can also change your situation, child of God. If they called you barren, he can change your name. If they called you a failure, he can change your name, child of God. If they called you a failure, he can change your name. If you have been raised in poverty, he can change your name, child of God. If they called you a pauper, he can change your name today. If they called you stupid, he can change your name, child of God. You know, God is always in the business of changing names. God is always in the business of changing names. At any time he changes your name, it comes with a new beginning. Any time God changes your name, child of God, it comes with a new season. God can never change your name and you remain stagnant in the same position. When he calls your name and he changes your name, definitely he comes with new beginnings. Today, child of God, is my prayer right now that may God change your name today. May God beautify your name today. May God make your name glorious, child of God. He says in his word, he shall put us on a hill that cannot be hidden. 
May that be your portion today, child of God. I'm a living testimony. When I was growing up, child of God, I know men could not expect anything good to come out of my life, child of God. But I'm here to tell you that God changed my name. And when he changed my name, he changed everything concerning me. He changed my surrounding. He changed my family. He changed my children. He changed my spouse. He changed my career. He changed everything that concerned me. You know, anytime you give your life to cross child of God, you become God's agenda. You become God's business child of God. You become a child of God. You become God's business. You become God's agenda child of God. And God can never ashamed his work. He'll always make sure he beautify your life for his own glory. For the world to see how powerful he is in your life, child of God. He can never allow the world to ask you, where is your God? He'll make sure he steps in to cover your shame. Today, I'm here to tell you, child of God, God is saying to someone today, it is a new beginning. God is saying to someone today, he's changing your name. God is saying to someone today, it is a new season. God is saying to someone today, I'm going to do a new thing in your life. God is speaking to someone today, right now to the glory and honor of God, child of God. I've always said on this platform, every day it is God's day. The day you'll choose to believe in him, that is the day he will start working in your life. He is a faithful God. He says in his word, just come. Just come the way you are. Just come the way you are. And I'm going to give you rest. Today, child of God, you're watching me right now. I don't know the name that I'm giving you today. I don't know if they're calling you a prostitute. I don't know if they're calling you a failure. I don't know if they're calling you a barren woman. I don't know which names they're calling you, child of God. I don't know the names they're saying right now. But today, child of God, I have good news for you. God is going to change your name. What you're supposed to do right now, you have to believe in him. And before you believe in him, child of God, there is no shortcut but to give your life to Christ. You must be born again. If you want God to change your story, if you want God to change your life, if you want God to change your name, then the first thing you have to do, if you're not born again, you have to give your life to Christ. You have to give your life to Christ. Because right now, God is here and God is changing names. But he's going to pass you by right now if you don't give your life to Christ, child of God. If you're watching me right now and you're felt in your spirit that you're saying in your spirit that I'm tired. If you're watching me right now and you're saying to yourself, I am tired about this situation. I'm tired about this career. I'm tired about this business. You're saying to yourself, God changed my name. You are saying to yourself right now, God changed my season. God changed my story. Then you have to give your life to Christ. I want to lead you to cross, child of God. Allow me to usher you to cross right now because there is no shortcut but to give your life to cross, child of God. I want to say this short but very powerful prayer, child of God. Say after me, Jesus, I'm here. I know I'm a sinner. Wash me by the blood of Jesus. Wash me by the blood that was shed at Calvary. Wrap my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of eternity. If you have said that short but powerful prayer, child of God, congratulations. You are now born again. You are a new creature. The all is gone. God has now given you a new name. It's a new season for you, child of God. Congratulations. Welcome to this journey of faith. Welcome to this family. I'm going to ask you to find a church near you. Find brethren who worship the Lord. Find brethren who fellowship. Find brethren who do Bible study. Find ministers, men and 
men and women around you, child of God. Find a church near you, child of God. Hide in that ministry, child of God, and trust me, they lay hands on you and they lead you to the ways of Christ. Congratulations, you are now a new person. The all is God. Thank you so much for watching this message. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to encourage you to keep subscribing to this channel. I'm going to encourage you to keep sharing this content. I'm also going to encourage you, child of God, to always going back to watch our previous messages on this platform to the glory and honor of God. And make sure anytime you watch our messages and you are inspired, kindly like these messages. When you keep on liking these messages, the YouTube algorithm will favor the child of God and will reach as many people on this platform to the glory and honor of God. As you keep on reaching many people, God keeps on decorating your life, child of God. Praise Jesus. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to see you next time, next message, and goodbye for now. God bless you.